Hello, my name's Craig Steele. Welcome to Axminster Tools and Machinery's head office here in Devon. You join me outside our manufacturing and engineering facility to, amongst other things, have a look at the jointing, the welding of our bandsaw blades. Follow me in. Okay, so we're here up in our bandsaw blade manufacturing department. Um, over 50 different bandsaw blades uh, stocked up here. And these guys, they'll join, they'll manufacture over 50,000 blades a year using UK manufactured steel jointed in the UK. Let's have a close look at how these blades are put together for you. Our bandsaw blade material is sourced from a UK manufacturer, Dakin Flathers Limited, based in Featherstone, Yorkshire. It starts with the tooth milling process for high carbon blades. Each milling head is individual to the blade, hence your teeth per inch. Up to 40 blade strips are milled simultaneously. Next is the tooth setting for kerf width. Blade straightening and tooth flame hardening processes. Metallurgical testing is then done to ensure the desired shape is achieved. The tooth space is also checked for evenness. Next, it's sent to our manufacturing facility, right here in Axminster. The blade is rolled out and measured to the required length. Depending on how popular this type of blade is, a quantity is cut to length and checked for straightness. Once cut, the blade is then welded using a machine programmed by a controller to precisely set the welding and joint annealing process required for each type of blade. This process creates a joint that is every bit as strong and as flexible as the original material. Once welded, the joint needs surface grinding on both sides. This is important to ensure the blade passes smoothly between the bandsaw blade guides. A final check by an experienced eye makes sure everything is as it should be for a smooth cutting blade. Check out the defold. Now the blade is ready for packing. The packaging is designed to ensure the blade arrives to the customer undamaged and includes useful information about our band saws and the jobs each blade is suitable for. So we're, uh, we're now in the skill centre to take a closer look at our Excalibur bandsaw blades. Now, as said, we've got 50 different varieties that we stock of, uh, of bandsaw blade steel. You saw that being made uh, just across the road in our manufacturing facility. But we understand with those 50 different varieties that it might be a little bit tricky to choose the right blade for your job. So what I'll do over the next few minutes is talk about blade by blade to help you make the right choice. So the first blade we're going to have a close look at is our GT blade. That's GT, not G and T. GT stands for ground tooth. Now the vast majority of bandsaw blades available on the UK market, they're either the teeth are stamped out or milled out. And you know, the milled uh, teeth are, are reasonably sharp, you know, it'll cut. But what these, these have, the, the GT blade, they're ground after they're milled, making them super sharp, cutting noise levels down, improving finish. Let's have a look how it cuts. So the GT, the ground tooth blade, even when cutting quite fast, gives you a nice clean finish and a nice straight cut. Okay, next blade is our fresh cut blade. Now this blade is very, very similar to the, the GT blade, where it's again, tough, flexible, durable, but the teeth uh, again are diamond ground, just like the T GT blade. It's available from quarter inch right up to three quarter inch in width, so curve cutting, but majoritively this blade is used for straight cutting and used for veneer cutting more than anything else. It's got a very delicate, light, subtle set. So there's not a lot of timber wastage because the actual cutting width, the kerf, is minimal. Okay, so, so Fresh Cut might sound like a bit of a funny name, uh, and the blade actually originated in the food processing industry, so cutting fish, 
and meats. And some of you may know this blade as the old meat and fish blade, but we found that it cuts wood so, so well. Very straight, with very, very little wastage. Let's have a look how it performs. So again, a nice, clean, straight cut, but with very little timber wastage. Great for veneers. So now looking at the premium M42 bimetal blade. A blade that is originally made for cutting steel, and you'll see it often on horizontal bandsaws, chopping through brass, aluminium, mild steel, even stainless steel. Now we've discovered that it works very well on woodcut and bandsaws. Because it's a blade that's originally for cutting steel, it lasts a very, very long time. It's twice the price of a regular carbon steel blade, but I've had it last more than 10 times longer than a regular carbon. Let's see it in action. So, as well as a really good wood cutting blade, obviously the premium M42 bimetal blade is a metal cutting blade. Excellent for cutting non-ferrous metals on, on what is your woodworking bandsaw. Won't cut steel on your woodworking bandsaw, but we do have a machine in our range that will do that. Have a look at the BS11 inverter bandsaw. So that's a couple of cuts on the premium M42 Excalibur bimetal blade. Um, a blade that's actually come a bit of a favourite of mine, um, just because it's so durable. I work in a multitude of materials, so you know I, I can be comfortable in the fact if I'm using this blade and I do hit a nail or a staple, it's not going to ruin the blade, which, which does happen on uh, other, other types of blade. Okay, so something else that you'll find on the premium M42 bimetal blade is, as well as being a hard, tough, durable blade, it's got a slightly different tooth shape, a slightly different tooth pattern to regular woodcutting blades. It's called a variable pitch. A row of coarse teeth, a row of fine teeth, a row of coarse, a row of fine, and this helps you cope with a multitude of different material thicknesses, from cutting MDF right through to aluminium, brass, and nail-embedded timber. The fine teeth, will help improve the finish. The coarse teeth will help clear the waste. Right, so the blade we're gonna be looking at now is the back tooth blade. Now, it is exactly what it says on the tin. It has a row of teeth on the back, a little unusual looking, and something that is completely unique to the Excalibur bandsaw blade range. We found that it's a terrific blade for cutting fairly tight curves in really deep material whereby normally you get a lot of rubbing on the back of the blade. And this very subtle back tooth 
helps that blade glide through the cut without building up too much friction on the back, slowing down the machine and potentially overloading the motor. Let's see the blade in action. So the back tooth blade, a really fast but clean cutting bandsaw blade. Absolutely perfect for, for wood turners cutting bowl blanks out or anybody cutting curves in fairly deep material. Now the blade is only available in one specification. 4 TPI, so fairly coarse, fast cutting, 5 sixteenths of an inch or 8 millimeters in width. Absolutely perfect for those deep curves. Right, we'll look at the, the Ripper blade now. Um, well, again, it's exactly what it says on the tin. The Ripper is a ripping blade. Only available in one specification, inch and a quarter width, very coarse tooth, good, thick, sturdy blade, generous amount of set for clearance when, when ripping down those long, deep, thick boards. Because of the thickness of material and size of the blade, it's really only for the larger bandsaw, sort of 18, 20 inch diameter wheels and machines with power of three horsepower plus. So if you've got a machine of that kind of size and specification, this is the blade for slicing down those, uh, those, those big boards and ripping down the length. So the Ripper blade, large teeth, elongated wide gullets would help, uh, which help with uh, waste clearance, a generous amount of tooth set, helping clear the waste as you're slicing down those large boards, and a blade that can actually be resharpened a number of times. So there we go. Hopefully that uh, will help you select uh, the right blade for your job. So whether you're aluminium cutting, man-made boards, natural timbers, cutting curves, cutting straight, you want a clean finish, you want not too worried about the finish, I'm sure within the Excalibur range, we've got a blade for you. But blade selection is just one thing, one small part of uh, getting the bandsaw to perform correctly. Check out our how to set up your bandsaw video too. Thanks very much. Goodbye.